Hello again and welcome to our second instalment in our biological monocle series. Today we're going to be talking about proteins. And just a reminder, if you haven't entered our Eat Well Guide competition, then please find the link for that video and do send in your entries for your healthy, balanced plate food. We're really excited to see what you all came up with. And subscribe to our channel so you can get notifications when we um, upload new videos and you can see what the topics will be um, for the different weeks. But thank you again for tuning in and we hope you're all doing okay. Today we're going to be talking about proteins, which was the pink section in the Eat Well Guide plate. And they're really important biological molecules in our diet. So the sources of protein. Now protein can come from animal sources. So animal protein sources could be things like meat, it could be fish, which can be canned fish, for example um, this tin of tuna. It could also be eggs, which are another um, good source of protein. Uh, we've also got vegetarian sources of protein, so whether that's beans or pulses, for example um, this tin of baked beans is a good source of protein and also this tin of chickpeas. Uh, you've also got other um, protein sources like nuts and meat substitutes, for example tofu, which is derived from soybeans. Proteins are made up of monomers called amino acids and just like the polysaccharides, so the long chain carbohydrates are made up of monomers called monosaccharides, the proteins are made up of amino acids and these amino acids are joined together by a peptide bond and you can see the structure of this on the screen. And when we eat proteins, so when we eat the meat or the fish, they get digested by our protease enzymes, releasing single amino acids. And these amino acids can be used in the body to synthesize proteins and build new cells. And that's why when you're growing, when you're pregnant or after injury from sport, for example, you require a higher protein intake so that you can repair and grow new cells within the body. And there are 20 different amino acids found in proteins. And we're going to talk a little bit more about these amino acids um, further on in the video. So when we talk about how much protein uh, you should be eating in a day, we measure this according to your body weight. So it's recommended you should take around 0.6 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. So that usually equates to around 56 grams per day for men and 45 grams per day for women and 24 grams per day for children aged 5 to 10. But that also depends on things like um, whether you're pregnant, but also it depends on how much sport you do and how much you need to um, repair and grow new cells within the body. So the functions of protein in the body. Now the first one, I've mentioned this a few times, it's growth and repair. Protein is needed for the growth of new cells and the repair of any damaged cells within the body. And this is because protein is the key component of many cells, and so it needs to be replaced um, when these cells get damaged. And it's found abundantly in plant cells and also muscle tissue within animals. Another function of protein in the body is the fact that there are 20 amino acids, but some of these amino acids are what we call essential. And that means that they cannot be made by the body and they need to be um, consumed via the diet. So there are nine essential amino acids that we need to get from our diet. And that's why we need to ensure we have a balanced diet to ensure we get a variety of amino acids within our diet, especially if we are a vegetarian, as it's normally found that meat sources have um, a higher amount of those essential amino acids and can be called complete proteins because they have all nine of the essential amino acids. Now that we uh, can understand what the proteins are and their sources and the functions of protein in the body, it's time for our protein quiz. So first question, uh, what is the monomer that makes up proteins? Shout out the answer. That one is amino acids. And the second question, can you give an example of a vegetarian source of protein? So there's lots of different answers to this one. Um, any bean, any pulse, nut or meat substitute. Third question, what is the main function of protein within the body? So that one is the growth and repair of cells and muscle tissue or damaged tissue. The fourth question, how many essential amino acids are there? So that answer to that question is there are nine essential amino acids, so amino acids that need to be supplied via the diet. And the final fifth question is what enzyme digests protein molecules into amino acids? 
that is proteases. Um, they are digesting our protein molecules into amino acids that can then be used in the body to build new cells. So um, I hope you got all the answers to that quiz right. That's the final um, section of our video. And please tune in to the next video, which is going to be on fats and why we need to consume a small amount of fat within our diet.